Microphone check, one, two, three, four. Skip the bullshit. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast Yo. is in the Yo. building. Hold on, I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, look, we got hookah back. I got my gear back. Yeah, voices by right. Healer Bay, Mr. J Hill. I'm here. The whole team is in the building officially. Everybody, Alex LeBlanc is here. LeBlanc, Jewel is here, and Jewel. best is JC, Jewel. Monique, Wadman. The whole gang is in the building, the man. The whole gang. So pre shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. That's because we just had a shot. Yeah, we appreciate did. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> All right, so not pre shot y'all. <laughs> shout out to uh, Luke wow. Belair, official Belair. You already know they to get they got us right. I'm um, even doing this pandemic, so shout out to Luke Belair and they doing that thing as well. Um, yeah, appreciate you know. y'all for that. You know how we start the show off. Yeah, how I, how I, the week was going for you? Well, first I just want to shout out to all my black business owners that I actually am supporting right now. Sitting here, I got on Milani on my shirt. You already know Milani the brand. I got Prestige Republic on my neck. Mm-hmm. The jeweler. Shout out to the jeweler. I love shout this fucking hot chain. He went to Morgan too. This shit is fire. My favorite chain right now. Shout out to Barb Ken on the hair. You already know Monique also straightened it out, so she's also a hairstylist. Janae on the nails at Patiently Polished. There's a lot of black love going up on here. Goddess Minx on the lashes. Slim Sade on the brows. I'm a walking black billboard. You already better know it. Yeah, shout out so to my excited. guy Dovell in Baltimore off tour. Yeah, shout out to oh, him. Look, yeah. At, look at this. Look black, at this. Black. Shout out to uh, Catch 22 Wings. Catch 22. Yeah. You Catch already 22 know. Hookah. Yeah. All black love over here. Because yeah. black, black culture so is, how was your is week, still right? going on. Um, the week has been quite interesting. Um, you know, it was Jay's birthday on Friday. He wanted not say it. It was his birthday on Friday. Yeah. And we have been celebrating all week. And I'm motherfucking tired. I had a great birthday, though. Man. It's been thing, amazing, shorty. though. And the party still goes on today. Ridiculously. I can't believe we're still going. However... Cheers to Sunday. Um, but the week has been good. Um, you know, the the show in the marathon is still continuing. We still got our protesters out here, so shout out to them. Shout out to the march that was done on DC yesterday. It was a movie out there. It was crazy. Um, you know, crazy. all love still going on. We still pushing for the cause every day, all day. We is here. Black Lives Matter. You already know. How was y'all week, Alex? Joel, Joel. How was ladies? Our week was pretty good. I mean, you know. Accepting everything that's going on in the country, you know, trying to stay woke, you trying to, you know, keep my mental health in it and not get a little crazy because, you know, sometimes that shit can be triggering and have Very you, much. you know, in a yep. different space. But yep. it's been good, nice and productive. Yep. Yeah, I got to get it. you a, um, we got to get her an XLR mic, like a plug in mic. Because the wireless is not really giving it. It's not, not really doing it right for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about yeah. you, Alex? How, how Jay was... just want an excuse nah, to buy not... another mic. Don't no, no, no. <laughs> he's you know, he's but, been you know, talking. He think he's slick. Like, he trying to justify why he need to buy another $400 mic. Uh, it don't have to be $400. One, one. I don't think that was, that was, I don't think that was $400. That was mm-hmm. probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he want another birthday gift, Shorty. Girl, That's I all he's saying. Like it's going on. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. But nah, my week, my week was cool. You know, happy birthday to Jay, of course. Uh, I just also want to say happy birthday to Brianna Taylor. R. I. P. Happy birthday, birthday, Brianna. It was well. baby June girl. Wow. Definitely yeah, posted so on her birthday for her. for her too. Um, but nah, man, it's been good. The fight continues. The marathon continues. We keep on grinding and supporting our own. And, yeah. You know. It's been a yeah. blessing though, but to be around all y'all, man, it's a joyous occasion all the time. Facts, man. Shout out to the team, man. Just shout out to twenty eight consecutive weeks Episode consistently. Twenty great. Yeah, man. <laughs> shout out to the whole squad, I'm man. So I appreciate excited. you guys. You know, we it's a lot of work that we got to do, but it's a lot of things that we accomplished along the way as no. well. So we gotta point those, point the finger at the good things that happen. You're not always focusing on the future and, and really basking. Yeah. The right now in a moment and, and enjoy shout out to this season black moment. podcast. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's talking about black relationships, black love, black issues, black culture. You already know why we here. Let's get into it, man. It's Gemini Scorpio podcast. So, oh man, so we still talking about George Floyd, rest in peace. Of we still course. talking about Breonna Taylor. We still talking about the social injustices mm-hmm. for your African American, for our African American people. We know. still talking about police brutality. We're going to still be talking about it, but this time it's different. Is it or is it? Mm. Is it different? Feel different. It, it does feel building. different. It definitely feels different. We in a different, different generation. We ain't no lay down generation. Yeah. Absolutely not. It, it, our generation is pulling up, and I'm so proud of 
just our young culture just getting out there, getting to it. Like, we ain't missing no beat. Everybody's spreading information. I've seen so many people who went to vote mm. last year in multiple crazy. states that Trump won in. It was because we were missing so many black votes, but not this year, baby. Mm. Not this year, baby. i seen us up and out here, so I'm proud to be a part of this generation, to be a part of this culture, because we are making waves. And even though the grind is going to be slow, it ain't going to be easy. It's going to be, you know treacherous through the, a lot of things is happening right now it is politicians stepping down is it's politicians for good cause stepping down to put a black candidate into their position it's a lot of major things happening um so many countries have stood up behind the protests here Facts. so many countries i cannot believe it korea japan when i seen like you gotta understand like these places France, are think, huge France, australia it, it's, they're huge to Global. see them have just as much of a big march like we've been having here state Crazy. to state in another country yo this should give me chills come on it's, my it's definitely history so this is history i'm a glad i'm really Happy to be a part of history in whatever way you are participating, whether you out there on the front lines, whether you are praying, whether you are donating, whether you are signing petitions, whether you are just being a healer and a guide to other people, whether you the food places that have been handing out food mm. through the protests, giving out free food. Shout out to y'all. Just anything you're doing to be a part of the cause. If you are not on the front line, again, you're just spreading your prayers, spreading your knowledge, sharing information. Everybody, let's go. It's crazy because like you know excited. I, I was sad at first, but I'm excited now. I be referencing. I'm excited now. I be referencing a lot of things to the things I watch and reading things. And I was watching one of the, one of Joe Button's episodes, the podcast or whatever. And he was just talking about how, and I fuck with it because they are very like relatable and transparent and looking at it and understanding as a fellow podcaster, right? So he was just saying like the thing about podcasting is we we are so busy doing it that sometimes we get our like our topics and things so fast that we don't have as much time as like, I don't know, your news anchor or something yeah. like maybe it'll study or whatever. And as podcasters, it's like, we're going to get, you're going to get a couple reactions. You're going to get that first initial reaction. And then on the next episode, you might get the, all right, I got time to let it settle and yeah. let it sit. And that's just how we are yeah. as humans. And I was yeah. like, man, so last true. podcast definitely was frustrated. And it's not, and it's not that the frustration went away, but it's just like, man, I think that we, I don't, like I want to choose my words wisely because I don't want to say we needed the sound, but we did at the same time. It's like we needed to see George Floyd because like the the way we came together, it hasn't been nothing new, but it just looked like it it sparked a different. It gave us something else to work for. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was like a, yeah. a, a different light. Some of this us, time. believe it or not, some of us was sleep. Some of us forgot. We forgot that our ancestors was really living this. We yeah. forgot that our great grandparents was really mm -hmm. in this shit. That, like, we forgot. We were becoming desensitized. To yeah. It. Like, yeah. We were becoming yes. normal. And we were normal. And it's not like, it normal. Acceptable. And right. Yeah. yeah. It's not. And, it's and not. Another thing and we're making it roar. It's not. Yeah. And another thing that's cool about this time, not cool, but something that's cool that I see is, is more white people out there with us now and we and I think that's what the world need to see yeah because like use that's when, your privilege yeah you know what I'm saying like once you see privilege. that look we're like you you see the people that's even talking like yo no this isn't right, right. it's not just racism you know what I'm saying we talking about dehumanizing a, mm -hmm. a, a, a whole, entire race you know what I'm yes. saying like because it ain't like it's not that yes like it's not that all lives don't matter, but all lives can't matter until black, black lives, lives matter. matter. You know what I'm saying? Like because let's go. because it's like yeah, all lives matter, but yep. all lives ain't going through what we're going through exactly. right now. Like during the Holocaust, you know what I'm saying? Like right. at that moment, we needed to focus on the yeah. Jewish people because yes. they were going through it. Now we're we're still going through this the same thing that we've been going through. Yep. Like this is why black lives matter, and y'all have to understand that it ain't just black rights this is human right. rights honestly right. because you don't want to do this to nobody right. you know what i'm saying like right. the thing that's right. going on right. with african americans like right. that shit shouldn't be happening to nobody point yep. blank period and i i was watching um today i just read a thread of a protester um you know who was out protesting uh she was maybe i want to say iranian uh she was protesting and um you know they locked up all these protesters and she was like they treated them like animals and the first thing she said is it's crazy because her protesting for black lives has put her in the shoes of a black person's shoes and she was like although she hasn't gotten it at a severity as our black people she said the way that they treated them like animals she said was unacceptable they brought them all the way in the woods 
all Ziploc tied to the point their skin circulation was yeah. cutting off. People were crying like these are too tight. People were panicking, having panic attacks. They were asking for medical assistance. They were like, no, laughing at them, basically yeah. mocking them. Like, yeah, y'all want to be out here? Like, And she was like, I cannot believe how anyone would treat humans that way, even in the custody of who we're supposed to trust. Come on, black, Over. white people are starting to understand while they're out here getting these rubber bullets to the face now and finally actually being on the front lines to actually see what people we have been dealing with as a culture been for years. For decades. Yeah. For decades. We get real, we get real bullets though. We don't even get real bullets. You know what I'm saying? We don't yeah. get real bullets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And yeah. they, they only doing bullets. that because it ain't all of us out here. It's because these white people out here too. So they got to be a little. So even when you think about it like that, like if it was all of us, oh, real bullets would have been flying. And, and but because, to that real look, quick. Like that just made me think of like what I talked about last week where that right there, what you just said shows that it's not a black versus white. It's literally good versus evil. It like, is. Cause it don't matter what your race is. If you evil. on some other shit and you are being evil and you yes. just seeing people in a certain way, if they see a white person standing up for black people, oh, well you, you can get right with them then. Yeah. Right? And it's crazy because that's how I market. I don't give a fuck which way you flip it. I don't give a fuck which way it's evil. It is evil. Mm -hmm. If you think like that, you're an evil human being. If you treat humans like that, you are an evil human being. Yes, I'm sorry to tell y'all, some of y'all Caucasian folks, y'all grandfathers who taught y'all this way were evil. They were and evil. That you go into that, Period. right? I want to go into, um, we can scroll down a little bit. I want to go into, go straight into the Drew Brees situation. I don't know if y'all all was, uh, if y'all all saw it, but it's crazy, it's bad. What my first question, my initial question is, because when I watch the video, it's like, damn. People think like this. Yeah, but not even that. Like when I watch the video, it's like I understand why he thinks like this. And but then my second thing, my my second initial action is like, yo, why are African Americans the only ones that seem like we're the only ones that understand? Like we under we can understand everything. Like we understand why this happened, why this happened, but nobody is understanding us. See what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's like mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. and to part like the reason why I started thinking about that too, because it's like why. But you got to think about it from the aspect of we were forced to learn their history. Mm -hmm. So we know everything about the white culture, about European culture, because when we go to school, that's they what teach they want to teach us. American history yep. is that and the third. But they leave out our history and yep. how we were a yep. major role to right. build in this society. And just think so, about all of them, all of their, I'm sorry to keep dividing us, but all of their people who have not even heard our history. Exactly. All they know is their but grandfather's like or great grandfather's history have, that does not exactly. see thinking the history. They mm. don't know our history. They don't even know that we were the first kings and queens. Like, they don't exactly. even know. All of that stuff. They don't know this melanin dripping gold is but, our way, baby. I'm not, sorry. It, <laughs> Nah, okay. facts, and it's crazy because it's like, yo, I'm looking at it, and, and I'm just thinking, like, damn, it's sad because from a sports, like, a, a sports fan perspective, it's like, yo, like, this is coming from somebody who's been heavily uh, active in the community. Like, this is coming from somebody who actually do work. So it's like, damn. But you like, know Like, this I, is what the, this I, is what America, this is how America thinks because right. this is not, this ain't coming from, like, he's not, like, we're not going to just, he's not like a scum, right. but it shows that. This is really how America works. That we're we're putting a flag right. over entire race. Like yeah. we're talking about a fucking flag that we fought too. Yeah. We fought alongside the yeah. we fought right alongside your grandfather. Right you know what I'm them. saying? And but we, when we got back, we didn't get we didn't the get privileges the that y'all got. We you did know it for free. So, y'all so, worked us for free. So it's like yo, and it's like damn, it's like meanwhile you your grandfather got wealth to pass on down to all y'all. Facts, and it's like you got a nerve to talk about some. You don't but condone anybody disrespecting nigga. Fuck that flag. The flag ain't respect right. us for hundreds and hundreds of years. Yeah. You talking about the flag? Fuck right. the flag. So it's like, and it's it's bad because ignorance is bliss. Yep. But we can't keep making excuses for ignorance yep. because my nigga is like Drew. And, and you put this on yourself. Like right. you're a fucking idiot. And it's like, it's bad because yeah. it's like yo, this is coming from somebody who helps. Right. Your but you know what? I seen like, what the fuck? I seen something that says something. Just because you're a good person don't make you not a racist. Mm. And if you're right. a racist, you're no longer a good person. I don't give a fuck what deed you put out in this world. Once yeah. you dehumanize God's people, you're not, I don't give a fuck. You can go. That's why I like the saying when they're like, yo, I get everybody doing on camera. You see police kneeling with the people. You see all these things, but let's That's not get not it. Enough. Let's not get it fucked up. It's abusive men who bring their wives flowers. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like every day they hit them and they come back. They say, sorry. And guess what? They do it again. What they say? They do it again. A dead clock is right twice a day. Okay. Mm. Sound like that. All right. Even a dead clock right twice a day. And so it's, what's it's up? Just, it's crazy because like they say like, racism is taught and learned right mm -hmm. and it, it just show, like that that was if that was no better example it was drew Brees, and it's like 
damn. Like it's that was learn. That's why I say because he sorry. Did, he said it. Effortly. Y'all daddies, y'all grandpappies, y'all have, they have shown y'all an evil way. So it is up to the privilege to change their thinking. We shouldn't have to work this hard to change a thinking that was taught to them when they see what is right. Now it's your turn. Mm. It's your turn to correct it. It's your turn to say, you know what? Well, my family has taught me for years. It ain't right. It takes them to actually correct their families. They no good ass aunties and uncles who be still preaching that at they little, I don't know if they call their shit cookouts, but their barbecues, like whatever the fuck they want to do. It's up to y'all to correct them. Y'all are now in a new generation. Y'all now have kids that are going to fight for other black kids. I've seen white kids crying because their parents are sitting there like what do you mean you're backing them they're this and they're crying like why would you treat them like that because you guess what they are actually do appreciate our culture because they had to grow in it they grew here today with it so now they understand um, i seen justin bieber make a post or whatever saying and and it but because i have so many questions like yo how many times do we take the apology because we've seen justin bieber on some like saying racial remarks on youtube you know what i'm saying like this is a while ago and we I understand that you can learn you can learn differently and like sometimes you have to experience things to see mm-hmm. it differently but at the same time it's like we don't get that just do like we don't. That's, and it's like that's we why it's don't. like yo as we as don't. much as I want to understand it's just like yo I can't because y'all don't understand what we're going through right. time and time again it's like they it's like why do we got to be the right. ones to exactly. understand right. and then to add to that it's also frustrating because it's like when it's caught on camera or something like that then it's like oh I'm apologize oh I didn't mean yeah. that oh I stand for it but, but then about y'all, when y'all in y'all own little circles and stuff Yo, it's getting that. Y'all see the way Trump talk? He Trump talk. He just the one who shows. That's how they talk. Right. Yeah. Behind closed doors. And then it makes the me that, also think like how many people sorry to cut you off, but how many people do we actually work with or be around that really don't you fuck know, with you us? Know what's but gotta crazy? act like they do. I just brought up to Jay, and you know what I'm saying, and I've been trying to deal with figure out how to deal with it. My president of my company has spoke up on everything that happens, whether it's COVID-19, whether it's economics, whether it's financial burdens, anything he's yet to make a statement about what's going on. We work in the capital of DC. Our building is probably, we even if we could go back to work, we probably couldn't go back to work. They're protesting all right there. So I, I was tied between the two issues of being the one who said like, yo, like, which I think I still am taking that foot because I'm sorry, this is the first time I think I've ever worked with this many black people. Mm. And our president is white and you prance around here like you appreciate us, but do you? Because you have so many black employees on your team. You have not even said, hey, I see what's going on. I see y'all still showing up for work. I'm sure y'all going through it because y'all are a part of this race. I'm sorry and I'm with you. You can't say that not once. So, you know, I've been trying to give him some grace and some time, but goddamn, we've been protesting for days now. Yeah. Days like, it's the third, like, days, days now. Yeah. But that's you like, know what I'm me. saying? That shit make you question everything. Like, do I even want to work here if this is what you value? If you can't that's say nothing? That's what I was nothing? about to say next. Because for me, I work for, the, I work for Baltimore City Public Schools, right? Mm-hmm. Primarily all urban students. It's probably a few other races and stuff like that. But when it came to that Blackout Tuesday, my supervisor, because I work on the communications team, my supervisor was in a bad space with the other people over top of him because they didn't want to push that and support that because they didn't know what it was going to look like. Mm-hmm. Oh, how are we going to look to this? Look to that. But if about 80, at least 85% of our students are black mm-hmm. and we live in this community, why the fuck wouldn't, wouldn't we you? push that? I don't give a fuck. So it just what? really, it, it, even working for an organization that is primarily the, black people, make, it still just had me think like... You got to think about, the thing why? is, you know what gets on my nerves too? Like even when I see black cops out here laughing and doing what the way, it's like, yo, y'all are such sheep. Y'all following a white man, letting them... Just tell y'all anything to do anything. You can step up, bro. Like I think they've been surfacing, surfacing, surfacing. Excuse me. This uh, clip of this cop was chanting, lowly though. Like right. Like he was sitting there and the. Oh Everybody's yeah. like was Black Lives Na- Matter. He was like right, and he was like, and I'm like, no, bro, yell that shit, bro. Yell that shit. I don't want to yeah. see you whisper it. I'm it, sorry. It was like, yeah, shout out to this cop who's he's it, saying it under his breath. So, Look, no, yell that shit, bro. In that situation, it wasn't a, it was a, it was a, uh, he was in the military, but uh, it was interesting because somebody came online and they were trying to explain how military, like literally when you enlist, you sign off your human rights. Like, this like, is like, so he sick. was saying that they can't protest. They can't 
legally, like they can be sued, jailed, and all of that stuff. Because I've seen it's, that. It's did y'all see that video with Kiki White? Not Kiki White. What's her know. name? Kiki Palmer. Yo, when I, she was, she was like, that ain't what, enough. Yeah, I that's what that just made that. me think of. What he yeah, just I fuck said. with that. Kiki Palmer was out here on the front lines. She was telling the cops, "Yo, come march with us." He, they was like, "We gotta protect our post." She was like, "Bro, you're supposed to be protecting us. If you're protecting us, then you need to walk with us because we're not. You're protecting the post. We ain't about to stand that. So march with us." They was like, "Well, Neil." She was like, "That ain't enough," and I couldn't. Yo, that shit give me chills. Almost made me cry, bro. Cause I was like, it's not enough. Yo, it's actually, not enough. That actually I wanted to stay on that topic for um just like influencers and like we can we can kind of stay down there for real, I'm only because yeah, like most of the trending topics yeah. is like yeah. going on what we're talking about. So we can even like let's skip down to the while we touched on the celebrity apologies and shit like that. Um well, I mean, I feel like Trina, we could talk about the opposite side as to how other people have been reacting to our people. Have been reacting to the protests. That shit regard. has been pissing me off. Kind of I ain't gonna lie to you. It's very frustrating because the one thing I keep saying, like even just seeing how certain black people handle their black people in their time to grieve, to mourn, or express themselves in their way through this time. They, why are y'all, why I'm like, yo, a part of racism should also include black people uplifting their people during this time. It ain't the time to be judgmental. It ain't the time to criticize. It ain't the time to do that because we have enough shit going on in the world where we already have to deal with. We don't need our people. Uh, why, why? Y'all gotta stop that crab in a barrel mentality, mentality that we're only there because the white man influenced on us. Get the fuck out of that stand by your people just because somebody expresses it this way and you don't express it that way if you ain't here to educate and lovingly tell your brother or your sister hey bro I understand you feel like this yo look at this you know what I'm saying just some facts some things but don't get up here like da 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 that scene when we posted um Jay posted the clip from the last podcast somebody on there just <laughs> like you like you're condoning and just like shut the fuck up if you ain't about to be here lovingly I'm sorry it's, it's fuck the judgy motherfucker just like it's fuck 12 it's not even that fuck, like, I, because period. like what he was saying was like the total opposite of what I was saying, but I posted the clip so he didn't see everything, and I just but he's like still I'm not also about to be like out of content, yeah, I'm, like completely. I'm not about to be like uh like commenting and on my stance. It's like, bro, if yeah. you gonna watch the full video on YouTube? He didn't, but to or, me, like, I just put LOL. Need, like, but to like, me, okay. he didn't even need to. He was somebody who was already in the military that should already know discipline one, and he's trying to give you another way to communicate yourself, but without educating you to do that, right? He's like, just what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Yo, first of all, shut the fuck up if you're not going to come here in a loving manner and talk about it because we don't have time for that. We don't have time to deal with more aggression. We don't have time to do that. If you ain't going to educate and love on your brother right now, today is the time. Like, even like yesterday, we had a whole moment, right? And then, like... <laughs> Like, yo, like yesterday we're having a cookout. But this is just like prime example why I told the people that we really just had, it's not the time. Yesterday we had a cookout outside and uh, we in a courtyard and some of the apartments faced the courtyard and a girl came down with her son, black girl, black son, come down and she was zapping. She was like, didn't come down professional or nicely and just like, hey, can y'all keep it down? It was like, yo, I'm not going to come down here and tell y'all again to turn this music down. I'm trying to you know, put my son to sleep and da 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 and everybody was like, first of all, who the fuck are you talking to? Yeah, because like, that's the first the thing rent. popped in my head. And nah. honestly, I was on that stance, but the thing, the first thing, I'm going to tell you, I don't even think a whole bunch of people got my son. The first thing was her black son is right there. That was my first thing. And I, I, had, to, I, t I had to talk to her like she was my child. I said, let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck what your problem is. You have a son that's about to see mad people yelling at you for being incorrect. And then I'm like, if everybody pops off and you keep doing that and they come out here, now you want your son to see you fight and do a more shit. I'm like, yo, we don't have the fucking time for that. Man, it's not the time for that. I'm going to tell you what I thought. My first thought was she had a gun because she was bold as a motherfucker. Like, not she a had gun. To, yo, she had to be strapped. But listen, what happened no, was she, she came, was young she and came, she's immature. She came down here by herself with her something, right? And she was like, hey, can you guys keep it down? Literally, like, everybody was like, I bet. My bad. Literally, right after we said, I bet. She was like, cause I ain't going, and we like, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. And all the girls was like, whoa, what the fuck up, bitch? I'm thinking yes, like, she, the she either got a gun, even because I was like, she like, is crazy, or she got come. mental illness or something, cause like, she yo, really was like, I because I ain't going, I'm like, whoa, we just said okay. But like, I had to literally, well, I'm like, yo, come on, no, you wildin' right now, come on, we going to the house, cause like, if you really got a problem, you could talk to me, because you're wildin' right now, because your son, your young son, and he's standing right there, shut up, shut up, I said, you see that right there? That's the cause of what you're influencing him. You don't want to do that. Like, and, it, and it's just, to me, it all boils down to the same thing. 
Yo, stop. Talk to your people nice right now, bro. Love on your people nice right now. And if they're wrong, correct them. We don't got the time to be fighting. Because now a fight done broke up. Guess what's going to happen? Oh, she was out here with her young son. There's a whole bunch of black thugs in the middle having a cookout. That's exactly what happened. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Like, we're not doing that no more. We're not encouraging no bullshit. We don't have time for that right now. We don't have time to be falling out with our brothers. We don't have time to be falling out with our sisters. Love on your people correctly. Educate them correctly or shut the fuck up. The period. No, <laughs> period. That's a, it. You got a great point, man. Okay, she was wild. But yeah, yo, she, she was definitely Let's go wild. to um so wait. And let's... Monique and Corey was about to put the paws on her. And I was just like, look. It might have been a good thing I wasn't here then. Girl, I'm a little I was like, look, I'm five eight, I got hands. I ain't about to wreck you, little girl. Let's... But let me tell you something. Another two, five, three girls who got hands over here about to put you to work. So you better go to sleep. Okay. Take your son upstairs. You better go to sleep. <laughs> like, let's let's okay. go to some positive though. All right, um, these, well, I don't, we don't got this down, but DC, yo, first of all. DC, wow. What's, what's the mayor's name? Mario Bowser. Mario, Mario, Bowser. I want to say it right. Mario Bowser? Yeah. First of all, she went from like, what, 8,000 to like 100,000 overnight. She got like 100,000 followers. Like, but what I was saying is like- Are I, we chanting? Well, hold on. Are we uh -huh. chanting? Like, let's be clear right now. I understand she promoted this Black Lives Matter on this walkway up to the White House, but she also is funding all these cops, all this money. So if we're going to talk about it right now, the other thing is she has 24 hours to respond. So right under that, they now have put defund police, um, defund police, inc not income. What's the, the, they're defunding the police from getting rate. Like they, they keep incre increases. Ugh, sorry increasing their wages and giving them a lot of funding for the police department right now enough of that give it back to the schools give it back to the community stop increasing it and she's the one who's signing off on that motherfucker shit too so right now right under that black lives matter is defund the police so she has 24 hours to respond or they're not taking that down either so granted thank Wait, you for the black that? lives matter somebody put that yes it's down there right now damn yeah let me see that's right, like big as hell. The same way the black mother. Um, oh shit! Yep, right Wait, under who did it. That? They did. The people. Shout out to y'all. No, exactly. No, no. We did. We did. They hey. did that shit. Yeah, I was there in we, spirit, y'all. We did. Oh, we this did. is hard. Yeah, because we not fucking around. We wait, ain't fucking wait. around. Nah, Thank you, Mel Bowser, for proving the Black Lives Matter. But if you ain't going fucking defund the police, we don't give a fuck because it ain't helping. A Damn. sign ain't the only thing that's helping. So right now she that's got twenty four hours to respond. Give us what we need. Period. Come Damn. on. Frontline, I appreciate y'all out there. You know what Doing I... the hard work, the crafty work. Wow. Thank you, artists. This is crazy. That's crazy. Okay, I... let's go Chocolate City. The fuck? What I can appreciate from all of this is... Love it, bro. As much as, like, you know how we always would talk about, like, the next generation coming out, being entitled and everything. The one upside that I've seen from this generation, because they're, like, 20, mm. 19, 18. Mm -hmm. Again, I seen the post on Twitter. Like, they'll be afraid to ask for something or be shy, but be willing to go out in front of a police officer, tackle a police officer. They are the the most fearless generation yep, that I've are. seen thus far. So I'm I have happy. to applaud the generation that's out there because they are fearless. They are upfront. Come they're, on, they're quote unquote uh, entitled, but they they understand that like this is my work and I'm not going to lose this battle. So I, I want to give them their their flowers while they're yes, here. Yes, we facts, appreciate y'all, man. Man, we, we can go. On, you know, let's the, get the, these talks, yeah, man. That's, let, that's, let's talk about some positive fun talk. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot going on. You know that shit could get real long and dragged yeah. out because we'll keep on. But we definitely want to give y'all what the fuck y'all want and what y'all here for. <laughs> so what we about to do is we're gonna go back to that, but we're gonna go into these topics. So, my topic today is, right, if a friend of a friend, follow me, y'all, because it gets to get a little confusing, but we're going to get there. If a friend of a friend is checking for your man or your girl, how you doing it? What you doing? Right? So, where I got that from is because, like, I found, I, like, I found this to be very common, like, um, you know, in past relationships, current relationships, it doesn't even matter. Just like, you know, boom, you invite a friend yeah, and they're like, oh, can I bring? My bad. No, you can't smoke my fucking hookah because screw it. The goddamn hookah. All that so, just to pass it. Right. <laughs> Had to get a little extra. So, you know, it's been times like, you know, a friend will come like, oh, can I bring my friend? Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I don't know if the girl or the guy doesn't know the boundaries or the, gr the guy don't know the boundaries, but they just take shit a little too far, right? So first of all, like it's been t like it's been times with me or Jay. Like for example, one of my friends brought her nigga who brought their friend. First of all, bitches know boundaries. That's not act like people don't know boundaries. 
But what about no. the bitches and the niggas who don't give a fuck about that? I'm about to say they know, That's they just really don't give a fuck. With it, right? All right, you can finish the story, proceed. Yeah, right, right. So, like, for example, I, I'll go into me first so I don't go just all in the J. So, one time, one of my friends brought her man. He asked if they could bring a friend. The friend come, you know what I'm saying, is there and made some little slick comments to me. And I'm like, you, like, my niggas, right? They're like, are you crazy? Wait, like, wait, so, wait, wait, wait. So, in early in previous episodes, we talked about um, what's the the exact word? I know Jewel, Alex, you might know when you don't lie, but you don't tell oh, the you don't uh, so, so like, not that, but it's a word. Um, uh, um omitting, yeah, omitting the omitting truth, omitting the truth, right? right. Mm-hmm. I told you this. So you didn't tell me this at that time. I found this shit out because we recently. got to a big ass fight that same party. If we couldn't, we would, we had to go into some inner work and deal with that. But even after that, you ain't tell me the next day or the I next forgot. day or the next day or the next. I, I just forgot. found this shit out. Like literally recently, I, but I forgot it because it wasn't important. But like I would have told you that night, but so, we got into so our own remember, space. it wasn't omitting; it was forgetting. So so remember, remember. <laughs> so what I don't, you know, what I don't like is remember <sighs> the story of me going upstairs and all this and my assistant and, all, and I was like, yo, we forget. just got. I said we just had we just had an argument, and it wasn't like I didn't like that was the least of my worries. No. For like That's a similar, not, but no, 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 no. Wait, tell no. the story and then I'm a help. Right, because you already <laughs> about to go left and I'm about to get hot. Don't get hot, sis. Take a sip and calm down, you know. Anyway. No, no but I do want you to tell the story though. You know, let's just stay on that course. Look, Jewel wants he look, she like No, what? I just I just want to know what he's about to get what he asked for. Smoke. You're ready for all the smoke. <laughs> I just want to know what happened. That's all. We've been so, we've been so, talking. So basically, so yeah, we was there and the nigga said some slick shit to me. I'm like, yo, my nigga, like, are you good? Like, whatever. And I said something to my friend. Like, but it cut like that cut but right she there. She ain't say something or, to me. But did she nip it in the bud before you had to get him? But if she not nip in the bud, but if I ain't tell I her that shit, I'm like. But I did tell you, and the thing is, you didn't have to find out. So let's talk about that, baby. And, and, you and talking shit, about upstairs. I had to find out. You ain't come tell me. <laughs> All right, I period. Like, <laughs> so what I'm saying is, you don't never. The thing about me, you could try to do all that you want, but you ain't never gonna catch me slipping because I'm always come tell you first. You ain't gonna have to find nothing out through nothing. So long story short, thank you, sis. So long story short. You know what I'm saying? That dawned on me because it's happened to me even vice versa with Jay. Like, there'll be times, like, I see little slick shit like bitches be around. They be doing this little eye thing. Like, be looking at each other from across the room or she be looking at him across the room. And I'm like, bitch, you know I see you. <laughs> Don't get stupid. And I only brought that to say because, like, younger me, oh, the whole room gonna know what the fuck I'm feeling. Like, first of all, I know the fuck y'all see me standing here. <laughs> Is everybody dumb? Everybody okay? Are you dumb? But you know, older me, I like carry it in a different way. Like I'll notice it, I'll look around, I'll smirk about it, I'll be like, yeah, I see what the fuck going on. Keep my eye on you, little bitch. But it was crazy because like I see it so often, though, like even with other relationships, like I'll be seeing, I'll be like, ooh, child, it's ghetto in here, okay? So all that to say is like, how do you deal with a friend of a friend who is checking for your man, like or your woman at a gathering or when you out, like, like what's up with that? Like I think, um, don't if somebody I don't know if somebody checking for my girl I'm what's good well, no, you let right? me tell another story one time we in a club one time we in a club we have Medusa <laughs> in Baltimore we stand there this girl is texting Jay and Jay like shows me but I instantly like what the fuck yeah he shows me that's fine but I'm not irritated with him I'm irritated like what the fuck is this girl so bold to be across from you texting you to hell like, what's, no what's, that ain't gonna happen I showed Sade and she instantly caught an attitude with me she like like why you so no, pressed to show me like you like t- you like you excited about that shit like like that like that shit cool I'm like whoa my nigga like I thought it was cool like it wasn't cool okay it was I thought we could share him credit but it, for telling no, you no I gave him the credit for telling me the no, problem she didn't. was she didn't give me no credit I'm, I'm like nigga that shit ain't you like you come I, to me I like, apologize this shit, if cool. I didn't give you the credit right then but the problem wasn't personal to you I was just irritated because bitches be bold like I'm sitting here having a good time with my nigga you want to text him first of all don't ever be that bold to think you could text my nigga. Like, I would rather you come up and introduce yourself to me and then speak to me and my nigga if you want to say some slick shit. But don't you dare text like, nah, 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 nah. and I'm like, like, are you crazy? Like, am I tripping? Do nah, I'm tripping? You, you tripping? No, bro. I don't think you're tripping. I think, I think like, if you, you, you tripped on him that night, I think that was wrong. Because if he was trying to be honest and show you in the moment, Wait, if anything, y'all could have but... just kept a cue, had y'all fun, right. made that bitch And we did. Stupid. We kept going. We kept drinking. I kept having my fun names. Stop my name now. But, to but answer, but to answer your question, like, what type of shit people be on, son? If a nigga what, would check you do, for, what would you do, Jay? If a nigga check for my girl, I'm going a, I'm to a 
nip it in the bud one or how you nip it in the bud what you want to do i'm like yo bro i know no, y'all no. heard the, i know y'all heard the stories no, at no. jay's parties now and I, I haven't been nothing like this for years now cut it out you lie a year a year <laughs> it's one been, year whatever so eight months anyway so like it's been times where niggas check for shot and i ain't say nothing well, I, I felt like a matter of fact she ain't tell y'all the, the story when we went to our sister house and i felt like a nigga was checking for her. i ain't making no big deal i just said yo Wait, i'm uncomfortable right and i, I said i felt out. like he was Checking. But he didn't know. I didn't say he did. I know, but like I'm talking about when it's blatantly there. To like, me, not that was blatant. I, I think, like but, I. But to me, like, it was blatant. Okay, what happened? I said I'm uncomfortable. I know, but what did he do to say it was blatant? Did he text me? He no. was all in your face. It's so okay, so. Women can have okay. so no, girls can have women that. intuition, but a nigga can't have. I didn't say that. I didn't intuition. say that. But right, right now, I'm not talking back. about intuition. I'm talking about concrete fact. The so bitch, so, the right, nigga so to is me, right there. So to me, doing too much. I said, but when you broke when you broke the story down. And part of that story was like, it's been times where a girl was looking at me from across the, and I don't think that's blatant. That can be, that could be but I'm talking anything. About, all right, cool. Understand your but if it's blatant, point, but I'm talking about blatant, like right. like a blatant text, so, a blatant standing right there, so if it's like blatant, doing so too much. There's two ways you can carry it. It's blatant, right? So I mean, so two <laughs> ways I think is either like, all right, no corona, it's hookah. you can be like, yo, bro, you tripping? That's my girl, or fall. I, I don't know, like, cause it's been times where like I I haven't done nothing. There's been times in my past where I probably did something. So it's like, it's like I could be like, yo, like, oh, I could say something to Shelly, be like, yo, what is it? Is it anything? She say, nah, I take that L. And I and I, it's only an L because it's me, it's me pro being progressive. Like, and I say progressive and like being a bigger person, not wanting to do confrontation. So like, I say an L because as a nigga, that's a, your L is like pride. It's not a real L, but it's like, you got to take that L to your pride because you don't need, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what I mean by L. It ain't a real L. It's just really just like, yo, put your pride to the side shit. So it can be like, um, all right, look, so they like my pride would be like, you wanna do something, but the the man in me would be like, Is it something? She say, Yeah, no, I believe it, and I just take it for that and we leave it alone. Or you could just tell him, like, yo, bro, you that's my girl. If you didn't know, I'm letting you know that right now. So like all that other shit y'all doing ain't cool. Either way, it ain't gonna hurt. But. Come on, Joe. So, Jill, talk so to question, because I know I've been single for some time now, you know, but I just got a question like because for me like when I was in a relationship and like if I'm out and my dude in the party or not in the party if a guy try and talk to me I'm already handling it now I'm gonna communicate with my dude about it right. but I don't even need my nigga to say nothing because I don't already nip that shit in the butt right, right. so I guess right. like okay so my question is how often do niggas nip it in the butt because I know Wait, girls I was be about like to say, I'm good now I was but about I to see say. niggas be like I'm chill, yo, I, yo, I'm, yo, yo, shout out be painting this, shout out be painting this, this angel that. picture that is just not, it's just not, it's just not true. What's not Let true? Let me tell you another story. We in a club, the chick came up to me to hug me or some shit, and I'm like, yo, you was bugging the fuck. Like I, I said that, like I'm like, yo, you gotta chill. Like my man was right there, everything. Shout out, got mad at me, like, cause why is this bitch so comfortable to give you a hug? I'm like, what the fuck? No, I don't even know. Hug. Hold on, hold on. It was a like, first. Yo, let me, let me, let me now she, now the girl now. wilded, but now, I nipped it in the bud though. Too much. I mean, don't be bit times. Me and Jay's walking through the guy. A bitch would literally bend over right in front of Jen. I'd be like, oh, this is. But cute. I nipped it so, in the yes, bud. I asked my nigga. Why but it wasn't just she ain't so just asked me. I, uh, no she was like about to just jump behind my ass and wait for me. But to you're not over. a whole like it's different. I mean, we gotta we gotta look at the difference in what we're doing. I'm working at the club. I'm on a mic. She might not know I got a boyfriend or I'm a, pause. Hey. Oh, pause. Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck is I'm cool. telling Bring my that girl shit that was back. bad. That Bring was bad. that shit the fuck back. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about a girl, down, so I'm saying, girl, I got you, Jay. I got she, you. She oh, might not know that I'm your boyfriend. Drag yeah. on you. Dang, that was okay, bad. Baby. She might not know I'm your boyfriend. I got a girlfriend. My girlfriend is there. <laughs> Man, that was bad. But yeah, the, I thing, the, the crazy thing be with that, though. I can't cheers to that shit. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> I got a damn. I got a. I got. You talking about an L? God damn. You took one, babe. It's okay. <laughs> At least we stuck. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you're trying to speed past it. You acknowledge. I'm gonna put that on Instagram too, it's just okay. because. I'm, <laughs> damn. Hey yo. But anyway, she don't. She don't know that. You my girlfriend, and you know what I'm saying like I'm your boyfriend. She don't know that. So she came over here to do what any other you know young thought want to do. So. But I nipped it in the bud, and my homie, my homie was actually right there. Okay, so and he actually was like, "Yo, Jay, you my nigga, bro." Cause like you really just put whole time on the back end. Shout they like, nah, because I'm I don't sorry. fuck with it. Because why the fuck is this bitch I'm so sorry. comfortable to give to do that? Because there've been times that girls just come up, give Jay. You know, first of all, like my nigga friend, so I hug. Thank you, yeah, so I hug. Thank you, girl. 
these bitches be like, because mm. they don't know the you're fuck? there. They don't, don't know. So what about they know you got a girl? No, they're not no random chick but in the club. Don't be no random. These, these I'm bitches saying, follow you. So my example like, was, got thirty thousand followers out here. These my my example was it was a random chick in the club. It was a random chick in the club. I was about to say too, Jay. Though they they know you on social media. So whether she in the building or not, it's still a certain level of respect. The random chick that don't know. Which led me to believe then what be happening when I'm not here. I had to think about it. I know my nigga solid. But even that, I, I tell Shade, I keep it 100. What I never lied to. I told her, even like, if I'm in a club, I'm hosting. Is a di- and I told her this from the beginning. She probably just ain't want to hear it, or she wanted she wanted to be in love so bad that she ignored it. Because I feel like that's a conversation I we can have. Like you like no, that's a conversation <laughs> we can have. A lot of times, a lot of times, a lot of times. We be in love that we we ignore the signs that we don't like. We yeah. ignore the things we that don't is like. True. I swear yeah. to God, in my life, it was a time because I think we're talking about the chick. I don't want to say her name. Is a different level of respect of when your girl is there and when she's not there. Mm-hmm. It's not that I'm doing anything inappropriate, but sometimes it's being real. Like you might be a little lenient. Like if a girl coming to me or give me a hug, I might give her a hug back. You know what I'm saying? My girl right there, she come like, all right, yo, you know what I'm saying? What's up? Shake your hand. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't like I'm doing nothing. Like it's just. You a little lenient if my girl not there. I ain't. Why are we getting lenient? So why we get? Yeah, I was about to because say why you getting lenient. Fuck, thank you, Jewel. What are we getting lenient Again, lean I ain't for? listening. But see, I, I got you right there, Jay. No, face. be truthful because right I, I respect your honesty. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's just, it's just, it's just the clubs. Are, like, so what people don't understand, like even a host. When you talk about a host, right? Let's take the club out of it. When you're a host, you're friendly. Like you're, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're somebody in your house. You're, you're being a host. Like so, you're, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like you're, yeah. you're being nice to people. Like it's like you're letting. You might somebody on the outside that don't know you might think you're flirting with the guys or whatever, but you're not. You're really just being friendly to your guests. So when I'm there, when I'm hosting, I'm friendly. Like yo, I'm like let's get lit. I might pour a shot in the bitch mouth. You know what I'm saying? I might. You know what I'm saying? But with my girl there, I ain't really like pouring no shot in no girl because that's just blatant disrespect. Like. Like, it's just different things I'm doing. That's it. I ain't really, I'm I not trying to get the that. bitch number, I but I'm that. having, turn up, because so, so that's going to make the party lit. Okay, but my so girl, I ain't about to do is, that. how do we deal with little thotties in the room? Because little yeah. thotties is thotties anywhere. Like, little yeah. thotties is around, just to be around. Girl or no girl. Don't they give y'all, like, a, a sense of pride to know, like, for each other that, like, you got the one that everyone wants but can't yeah, have. Yeah, like, yeah, they don't feel a sense of pride. Who's she lying? To a degree. I'm lying about what she, no, I don't Why? get her no prize. She be ready to go. Me, on the other on, on the other hand, I'll be like, you know what? Like, yeah, cool. Because like, like I I don't be on go as he much be as like no that more. Because I'm not a host and I'm not an entertainer. I'm not required to be friendly. I, that might, but if it was any that might be true. that yeah. I had to that might be some, true. You know, you know, I'm just an introvert. Whoa, 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 whoa. no, no, so no, no, no. no that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. No, why? I'm gonna tell you why it's a lie. Because I might be uncomfortable. Now, one thing I will say about me is. I will get uncomfortable. I'm gonna keep it hundred. But I think, don't take this any way. I handle. I like. I, I control my composure way better than Shadé. Right, so it's like it'll be times where shit happens, I'll and I'll be mad as a bitch. But you will never know. I might be a Gemini thing, but like I don't. Me, like I'll be um, pissed no. off. My like facts. Patient. Like I'll be pissed off, and I'll be like, you know what? She doing her thing. Chill, Jay. Like I, like I literally have conversations with myself. I'll be like, Jay, you bugging. You thinking too much in it. You know what I'm saying? Shout on the other hand. These bitches got me fucked. She up. be on go, yeah. like. But yeah, so I don't know, like the handle. Of ch- I yeah. think I see the. So okay. Because we can go. So, no, uh, so before I go to this next question, so basically, keep your composure. Because yeah, but talk, nothing, to, talk but talk to your talk partner. To your, but talk to your partner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what I will say yeah. is, I've gotten a lot better. Cause young me, I don't give a fuck. But older me, you know, I have a little more sense. But what I will say is, only reason I say that because sometimes y'all women intuition be wrong. But me, I'm the type of nigga. But I don't even talk about no, no, I'm but, talking about blatant shit. So, but what I'm saying is, like, you might think some things is subjective. Some things you if might a think bitch is blatant. Come over, give you a hug too. Like that's too much. But it's not intuition. Again, but, I think also. Much. Just back to what you said earlier, right? What you probably got to start doing. Even though you host and you got to be nice to whatever, you got to act like Sade in the room all the time. So that way it's not a switch of energy. Because yep. then even your fans are going to be like, oh, she and he, he acting phony today. Now you're right, yeah. And I yeah. have yeah, girls nah, nah, right. I've had girls like, you acting different. I've seen it. I'm like, yeah, bitch, because I'm standing here. Like, the fuck? But, but they then it'll also like make you feel some type right, of way because exactly. then you and your mind like, well, what the fuck but is like, going on? Uh, but he's talking about women intuition be wrong, <laughs> but niggas be gullible. They swear nothing no, going you're right. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, let's no, talk yeah. about that because niggas swear nothing be going on. I get That's that. the fucking dude. There's times like we know women. If it's one thing about women, we know women. I know when a bitch looking 
moving. I, I can see it I from you that. two sides, three sides of my head. I can tell you. I, I you but that. then there'll be times you go tell a nigga, they be like, nah, man, you tripping. That wasn't happy. Yes, the fuck it was. I seen the I seen the flirting. I seen all of it. I seen the giggles too. <laughs> All, all I'm saying I is, all that shit. All I'm saying is, you you never know because if you're like me, if you're right, I ain't gonna say nothing. Like yesterday, I ain't say shit. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was chilling. Like, but if you're wrong, it's like, yo, you're wilding. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying but what I'm, what I'm saying, like, if if, if you're but right, I see. if you're right and you approach a bitch and like, let's say if 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 she is on some disrespectful shit and you say something, more than likely, more than likely, me, I'm gonna fall back. I'm gonna be like. You, you put yourself in that Cause that's the type of person I am I'm like I'm gonna be like Yeah You, 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 you Jay, fucked yourself up I've seen Jay be a rude ass nigga sometimes Bitch he be like I don't even know you Like you remember me like I, I just that's just But then I be like Stupid bitch <laughs> But anyway yeah I, That's just how That's what I think <laughs> That's what I think <laughs> That be me <laughs> But let me So I had a question Classy, Bougie Ratchet I had, a, I had a question right <laughs> And we can go back to your shit I had a question my question was, and actually, shout out to Big Holly for this, because he he actually, he DM'd me the picture that I liked. I'm like, yo, what y'all need to talk about is niggas like a thirst trap, like people in a relationship like a thirst trap, that's why they got a girl. First of all, like, he was wrong, because I'm like, my nigga, this is the wrong person to think I'm liking a thirst trap about. But it was it was a great question, because I do like, like, for the, for the most part, I like pretty much whatever. Is you, it a, what is does it, that even mean? Not I'm like, like, nah, whatever. nah, for the most I mean... Yeah, not I don't do that, but I used to. I I used to do that, but I do do that. Like if I follow you, like I just like your picture. Like if it, like if you, if you look good, like I never been the type of person to shout with. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like I got a girl, niggas know I love my girl, but she probably could tell me a nigga that look handsome. Shit, I could tell her. That's two yeah, things. Yeah, like for example, we seen a cop. It's so funny. We went. We was going so Jay could go vote at the Bowie Center, and we go there, and it's, and in my mind, I, I seen it before and she said something. Yeah. But I he, pull in, I'm like, I know niggas is so like they shady. Cause see, the first thing I was like, I was like, oh, she's a pretty cop. He was like, yeah, I wanted to say that. Mike. So I'm like, nigga. Cause like when I pulled in, I, like when I pulled in, you say you could say I, if you, I could see you thinking it. Cause you, I, but I, but I, I ain't stirring that much. She lying. I probably did. I, I probably did. You probably need. Nah, I probably did. Nah. No, he didn't even know. He didn't even know. I, nah, I probably, but, probably fucked but up. I already thought she exactly. Because I pulled in, I'm like, damn, like, because nah, she, she was a cop. She, like, she I'm was like, a, no, I don't know if she had makeup. Just, there was no, no, she, makeup. no makeup. She, hair pulled back. She was beautiful though. I was like, damn. She was a very pretty cop. But I seen her already. But I, but I already said out loud. But I seen Jay like. I'm like, nigga, I should smack this shit off in the back of your head. Like, but she was cute, so whatever. But he was like, you know, babe, I wanted to say that, but I was like, I, I was scared. I ain't like, know if I should. Yeah. I ain't know what the fuck. I was like, hey, no, look, what's gonna come at this? But nah, you know so, but now what I was gonna say is, yo, is it a problem liking thirst traps on social media? Why you gotta? So this is what I other? think, right? I don't think it's a, like you know, like honestly, like I said, some things are just overly saturated. So you know, bitches being half naked, that shit is normal on Instagram now. Like bitches is always in a bikini, always in a thong, always in some. Mm -hmm. Photographers, that's like their lane now. Lingerie, like that's like most of them are shooting lingerie shots. Like they're there, like whatever. So I don't get bothered by it. But now, I do get irritated. Like say, boom, Jay. Like so, what happens a lot is you know, Jay got mad followers, or whatever, right? So they'll come follow me and they'll go like me and I'll just like, I'll see somebody follow me, I'll go click on their page. Jay done like that. I seen Jay done like every one of these bitches' pictures. I'm like, well, and you know, it's just be, it be 34 people, you're thirsty ass nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's just like, what I thought. God, it's just like, yo, damn, that's what like, I'm about to say. Just like, all this bitches, I'm, I'm now at picture 15. <laughs> Jay Hill, Jay Hill, Jay Hill. I thought, yo, because Holly. Jay Hill, Jay. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, Holly, how many of this bitch picture did you like? Ho the nigga, like, the nigga two sent this. Is a Look, like, look, look. like no more this look, he screenshot of the picture right and it and it's bad because it don't say like I thought they took this shit off it says no. Jay Hill right. and a hundred and other people, people like wait what like, the fuck like God damn like out of all people says yes nigga 35 people it's like it say a hundred and some other people I'm like but I have a question <laughs> Do y'all do, do this thing where like when you follow somebody new, like you just go I like yeah, like that's what I do them. yeah, that's what I do. Like if I follow what somebody, fuck? I just I follow and I go so like all their pictures, like you know, yeah, all of their pictures. Are you not all of them, but I, 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 I like a few like, of them. If, if they have like over a hundred, it's like no. I like like five no, pictures. I like never do that. I'll follow you back. Period. See, I'll, I'll follow <laughs> you, especially when your, next, when your next picture come on the feed. Whenever I'm scrolling, you post it, like. But I ain't gonna see a page. Of, duh, 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 so duh, answer duh, the question: duh, duh, Is it so? No. So you know, I don't feel. get no. I don't feel no way. But that's the only time I'll be like, "What the fuck, nigga? You like like twenty of this bitch pictures? Like you like her?" <laughs> 
No, I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, it's one guy that like shot him, like all his bitches. I was like, who? Word. But who? I was like, word. word. But that was one of the moments when I was talking to myself. I was like, all right. <laughs> right, right, because then he got nah, this nigga, like, nah, if he made you pissed it, off with a straight ass. I'll be face. pissed the like, fuck he off. Be and he be like, yeah, I'm just like pissed off. I'm be like, no, you're not. No, you're like, <laughs> sure fooled me, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna sure lie, like, me. nigga, like, cause I was, I be like, a oh, word. Are you like, like five of these niggas pissed? Like five to me is like a hundred. So I be like, now what I don't word. like now, if you get the I'm hard saying. eyes and shit, now you got me fucked up. So yo, I think I thought like. Not even heart eyes, but even hearts. I thought like that was like normal nowadays. No, you better put a fire. But and that's and bad and though. And the that's fire. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. The that's fire. Yo, but but I think but <laughs> I think, on the R. so so me I think see me like I ain't no Good fucking shit. I ain't no fool. <laughs> so like when I see a nigga like I, I didn't DM my, my my homies so many times watching them like put fires over girls uh, pictures and I be like nigga you ain't slick like this fire don't mean this fire is the new hard eyes like let's be real like the fire that's emoji that's what I was about to say I'm real selective even with the fire eyes we got like the fire shit cause the like, fire is the new hard eyes like, so to me like alright so like, so like like for example like some bitches like they could dress they look good they be like oh fire bitch you look that shit fire yeah. You get up a fucking hard eye, bitch. I, but no. no, the fire. So the fire emoji not the new hard eyes. No, no. You're lying, cause it's fire niggas. Means niggas fire. is fire on everything. Fire. Listen, That's I got nah. for this. I'm a down Yo, this hill. Niggas, <laughs> niggas ain't niggas is not low nowadays. Like a nigga see a girl, she look mad good. Fire emoji, bitch. That's the hard eye. You might just put the hard eyes. Like it's the like it's the new hard eyes. No. All right, okay. Why no. you so loud, bro? Right. Try, All right, cause it's cool. Niggas, <laughs> Get up for the rest of us, bro. Alex, what the fuck? At least, Why you at so least loud? I'm being so honest, but man, niggas being being so denial. I be, I, I ain't never, never, I never, nigga, never, I ain't never think about it. I never see you put a. Uh, I ain't never think about it till now. I don't because I know, <laughs> I know. You but that's the like you know what I'm saying like so it's like niggas ain't like we ain't low nowadays. I thought everybody knew that, but maybe not. Maybe not. Wow, so that's me something new. That's a new nigga thing. See, the crazy thing is though, I got niggas doing both. Right, and I right. didn't really. Right, right. I mean, no, I ain't saying it like yeah, that. But I mean, I'm a beautiful person inside and out, yeah, so yeah. fuck it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you saying. got the inside and out. Oh, nah, that inside was. Inside and out, you heard? <laughs> I'm just saying. Now Jay helped me realize that the fire is really. The subliminal. new hard eyes, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas ain't slow. Like that's gonna be the title. The fire, fire emoji is new hard eyes. Like that's a long title, but we gonna have to rock with that. Better be careful, cause now the bitches is on to you. My bad. And I that girl's up. Is finna be mad. Just, wow. No, that loud, bitch you kept man. talking about. She was just fresh. You kept, but she always had all the shoes. You kept putting fire out because you liked her. So, but you what I will say her. is, you gotta be careful because it can it can go both ways because you can be like fire. Like it's some girls out there. Like for example, like your best friend. Like mm -hmm. I don't even know if I did put the. Uh, I might have just commented, but like mm -hmm. sometimes, like nah, like sometimes, like sh she'll be on some like some high kicks, or I think what, what I think is fire is different. Like I might, she yeah. might take a, a dope ass picture, yeah, she, and I'm she like, what the, the fuck content. type yeah. of cameras that like? So right, I might put right. the fire whole yeah. time, nigga. Thinking nah, I'm just like yo, nah, like I'm yeah. looking at the picture, yeah. like I'm looking at the quality picture. Yeah. Like now, niggas think I'm hard eyes yeah. and her best friend. Like nah, <laughs> you gotta be <laughs> like nah, you gotta be careful. Like, <laughs> yeah, I ain't, that's mm -mm. me. Uh, <laughs> or like so, so question. So I had a question while we here. So. Boom, let's talk about cheating real quick. Just gotta go right here, right? Get into so it. Say, so say you see your friend, your friend out cheating. Your friend out cheating, do you check him on the spot? Or you talk, like, what do you, you tell, you, what do you do? Like, what's up? My homies, I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm like, yo, you want some shit. What the fuck does on some shit mean? You know what on you know some shit mean? What they be like, ha ha, chill, bro. Facts. <laughs> nah, that's what niggas do. That's nah, what niggas nah, do. Ha, I'm a chill, I'm a chill, I'm a chill, bro. And Jay be like, all right, I'm a chill. Nah, I'm a, I'm a chill, but I'm a chill. after that, I'm, a, I'm a like, bro, you want some dumb shit, like, bro, come on, son. Like, I'm gonna tell him about itself, but at the end of the day, at the, like, I think y'all, I heard y'all say it, like, mo more than likely, if if I see my homie out, I probably already knew what time type of time he was anyway. So wait, clarity moment. Are we saying? You see your friend, that's well, your friend out cheating. Do you see me out, I'm cheating or, on Jay. Damn, I see you out nothing. and you cheating on Jay. She ain't even gonna say nothing. <laughs> you gonna call me and be like, hey, you, 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 Alex, you know, Alex, Alex so what see? we doing about this? <laughs> she ain't gonna call you, you, you like, thinking. You gonna look down her. Nigga, I, nigga, I nigga Alex just gave herself too much credit. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you gonna do, because she ain't gonna call Alex, Monique, Wyman, on these. She gonna call one of our lines, she's like, so look, I'm in this, I'm in this predicament, bitch. Why the bitch. fuck? Like, you like, she's like, she's like, she's like, she like, look, look, I'm cool How with. Show up to the show, show like, on Sunday. Like, she's like, look, I'm cool with Jay, 
and I fuck with Shadi too. Like, <laughs> should I say something or like should I just mind my business? Because it could have been a friend, and I don't want to just like butt in, and like I don't. What should I do? But we sharing spinach dip. <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. Like, nah, so me like, so like like Jay said, like nine times out of ten, if I see my, I don't know, cause I, it's two things that like nine times out of ten, if I see my friend with another nigga, I probably did already know she already on some shit. Or I got a sneaky ass friend that ain't tell me because they ain't want to hear the good shit what I was going to say to them. Because sometimes you be having those sneaky friends. Like I got a couple. <laughs> we all do, sis. We all watching. do. You know, I got a couple little sneaky friends be on little sneaky dates. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't try. You call them randomly. Oh, no, I ain't doing, <laughs> I ain't doing nothing, girl. You know what I'm saying? This is just, I'm just kicking it with a friend. Yeah, fuck out of here. I know what the fuck type of time you want. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes I have a sneaky friend. But now me, like for real, for real, like my friend on some shit, I'm like, you wildin'. Like, you wildin', like, you wildin'. You really on some shit right now. You wildin'. I'm definitely gonna tell him. Why the fuck are you staring at me like that? I ain't saying nothing. Yo, I definitely would be like that, though. Yeah, I'm I wanna, definitely like that. I'm I wanted definitely. to ask you something. Y'all really good people, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I wanted to ask you. Because you ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't shit, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm standing on shit. I'm standing on wrong, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm like now, if you if it's at that social, moment, at that moment, now, I'm let just, me let me I'm tell you something. Now, because it's, it's like but people I side, know. Let me let me like let, people I know though. Like I know I them, but they're not like my close friend. I'm a man. I'm a motherfucking bitch. Let me let me say let me say let me say let me say this. What I will say is, <clears throat> think about this. I'm only going to say something because that's like my whole image. Like so, it's like honestly, like part of like a little a little part of the reason. What? It's the because of the image. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't be a perpetrator. Picture wow, me. Wow, he don't cheat on me because he don't want Mr. J. Hill to go to the And it don't got nothing to do with me. Talk about like, woman's wow. intuition. Wow. Like, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? You trying to blame that on woman's intuition? Fuck out of here, man. That's because I said it before. Fuck out of here. I already know. I already fucking know. But anyway, like not like a small part of it. Is like I ain't gonna lie. Like think about it. I preach all this shit. Come on, share the hookah, bro. Picture me cheating. They gonna look at me like. I want to hear none of that shit you talking about. Like fuck is you talking about? You gotta stand on what you word. You gotta stand on your word. Yeah. But now, so I had a question, right? So my question was. I want to go to Insecure. I seen the, the last episode of Insecure. I don't know if it was the last one or the one it's before. Like, I, think, yeah. I, I said, that's Sade. What? I told Sade, because I seen it before she seen it. We watched it again. I'm like, yo, that was you. She was like, no, the fuck it wasn't, because she's a hater. That's not me. We're talking about Molly and Issa. So what happened was, so what happened was, Molly is dating like an executive or a high up at Live Nation, right? Issa has a whole big ass block party that she's about to throw, and she asked Molly, could he get her a um, a performance for her for the block party, right? They were going through something at the time. Molly was like, nah, like I can't do that right now, like whatever, whatever. Issa was like, cool, right? No, 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 no. No, Issa, no, she was like, all right, cool. But after that, Issa was just like, I ain't fuck with her. Like, no, you gotta break right? it down. No. You ain't break the whole thing down. What happened was, yeah, like she said, Molly boyfriend was the higher up at Live Nation. Right. Issa asked Molly to ask her boyfriend, could she get an artist for her, her performance, for, for a performance. For a Molly was like, she, she was like, she was going to do it. But then she came back. She's like, you know what? I don't want to do that because such and such and such and such. But the back end is because Molly was already feeling away. She, she wasn't going to say that part, which I feel like if you was going to say that, you should have said that so we could have hashed it out then and there. She mm. didn't want to do it for her own personal feelings and not for the gain of her friend. So she, I didn't even puff it yet. What you talking? So shit. She didn't tell her when Molly, when Issa had asked her about it, she didn't say to Issa, you know, I'm feeling a way about you right now. I also feel like you use me sometimes, so I don't want to ask my boyfriend. She was just like, no, like whatever. She should have so, respected that. Okay, Period. fine. But even still to me, if me and my friend, my close friend, my best friend are going through a little something, I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm like, I owe you that. Like, I'm not about to just be spiteful and do some shit to I'm going to tell you like, bitch, I ain't really been fucking with how you moving, so I ain't really about to do shit for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? She didn't say nothing. She was just like, nah. Issa didn't understand why, because, you know, they both have their different perspectives of why they're going through their thing. Issa's team reached out to the executive. Because she got, talked to our team. Yeah, but <clears throat> one her, well, somebody on her team, Nathan Nathan is close with him. Yeah, it's, it's really. And he ended up doing it for the boy he was close to who's on her team. So she ended up getting the performance. So Molly goes to the block party, and her boyfriend basically says, like, yeah, I got that for them. And she was she like, she turned up. She turned up. She's like, she what fucked the, fuck the whole I block told party Molly up. up. I said, though, yeah, that's some hater ass shit. 
when it comes to my friends' businesses or endeavors, I don't give a fuck where we are. I may not fuck with you, but if it happened, it happened, congrats. Like, I'm not about to be like, wow, you really went and did that to her. I said, no, you shouldn't have did that. Like, that's corny. I'm nah, not I, like I, ain't that. Lie, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. So, like, shout out to, um, no. shit. Is Molly, it, is, 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 is Yvonne, um, Orgy. Orgy. Shout out to Shorty, because she actually from, she actually from Laurel. PG here. She, yeah, she's from Laurel. Like, she was like, nah, she's, she represents Laurel, like, because she's from Laurel. So shout out to her. But niggas is in her ass. She did an interview with, uh, um, uh, what the fuck is his name? Ebro. And Ebro was like, nah, because Molly is a straight hater. Like, you ain't had to do that. She's like, what? <laughs> nah, yeah, but. That, that, I feel like. So I you pro you pro Issa on this one. I'm, I'm pro Issa on this problem. I think they both did a poor job of relating back to their friend of communicating. I feel like they both was feeling a way. They both had their right to feel the way they were feeling. But if you don't communicate it out with your friend, you just dead ass wrong. You can't assume that your friend is just supposed to know exactly why you're upset with them or why you're not. So at that point, if you don't know, do not be spiteful to me to just try to sweep the rug up under my feet because you're mad. That's some hater ass shit. Okay. That I'm I'll not. Take, I'll take I'm not a hater. I'll like, take you know that. what I'm saying? I'll tell your ass no in a heartbeat though. I, I'm pro no, I'm not a yes man. Mm-hmm. I would tell my friends no. No, I'll take that. Bitch, let's, let's, no. let's 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 go down. Let, what what we got on the block? So the block is hot. Let's get let's okay. get let's get into you some more. No, scroll, scroll. You want to go? Oh, it's let's my go segment. to some, some more shits. Oh, you got you got something? I got a little something. Just go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, you can scroll so, down though. Go scroll up. Wait, what did I have to again? The, uh, to the top. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so it's real quick. I just wanted to do it. So if you met me right now, and it was our first time dating, what's your best pickup line? My best pickup line? Yeah, best pickup line you got. I don't have no pickup lines. So what'd you say? So honestly, all right, all right. I think so what my my best no my no my best pickup line used to be it used to be like, what do you do? How can I support you? Yeah. Yeah. Like, but let me say, right like, now. nah, that, that, that used to be my favorite. Like a nigga let ready to fuck with that. <laughs> let me tell you why I don't fuck with Cause that. Cause that's just who I am. That's just who Jay and Jay. So I'll do that now, and she probably think I'm trying. It, it, right, exactly. You talking about that's your best pickle line. You done said that to be. mad bitches that you wanted to create a little team for, like whatever. <laughs> what you do? How can I support you? Oh my god, I do hair. Oh my God, PR. Facts. Oh no, a lot of, lot of facts. Nails, <laughs> lashes. She said this nigga ready yeah. to invest. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, I ain't say all that. I said, I mean, support you. I ain't say invest. Right, so how is that your fucking pick em line? Cause and me, you ain't use it on me. Y'all just loud today. So, just so, <laughs> so with Sade, so like when I, when I met Sade, my, it wasn't over, no real pick. No, my pickup, so my pickup line be like, it's not your average pickup line. My pickup line is different because like I'm, it's hard to read me like as we just talked about, right? So with Sade, she didn't even know. My pickup line was, "What y'all about to do after this?" Because I'm out of, I'm, I'm like in DC or whatever, and it's like, I don't want to go home right now. And it's, it's part truth, but it's part interested. You know what I'm saying? Because I, if I wasn't interested, I would have went home. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, since I'm interested, what y'all about to do? Because like I do live far anyway, I don't mind hanging out. But to you, it might not be a pickup line, but like that's I move subtle because like my my yes to no ratio is really good because I'm very strategic with my actions like i'm very um what is it uh calculated calculated and some people that might say it's a bad thing some people might say it's a good thing to me i move very calculated so it's like all right i'm gonna be like nah i mean i'm gonna just and it, it part of it is kind of manipulative like i manipulate the situation to work for me so it's like i'll ask her like all right what you about to do after this so if she be like well we about to go home then clearly she ain't interested you know what i'm saying but if she be like i don't know like i'm trying to do something oh she she ready. Shade, you fell right into it, didn't She's like, we, oh, I think we about to go to. <laughs> come on, you want to come with us? So we can... He's like, all right, bet. She with it. No, we out. I was with it. That's because he told me he liked my coat. And I thought it was, he, was, he had to touch my little coat. He buttoned it up a little bit. But, all, like but, uh, but, but listen, like, all, all those he things. Me. All, no, all of those things. All he of those things, me. like in communication, like I guess I got to give more to my major than it is, even though we don't make no money. Like sociology major, like just communication, major, like you learn so much of the human yeah. behavior, right? You, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, so it's like, all of that is a pickup line if you gotta be right. So like me touching you and you not like making a face or like, it's me like, all right, bet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, because some girls, you touch a girl, she not answering like, my nigga, first of all, like, thank you, but like, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, thank you, but like, uh, fall back. You know what I'm saying? So like, so that was it. Like, once I did things in motion, and don't touch them like in the, but a lot, but even, 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 (laughs) but not even, even in the communication area, like, like, even if you talk for business, right? They say, like, you want to touch somebody like below the, the elbow, like, just give them a gentle touch because that shows that. It's like it, it, that you can be open. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, yeah right. it's some triggers. So well, like let me that. give you some of my pickup, mm-hmm. my pickup lines. Yeah, because I probably heard it while we was together. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you were trans, 
performer, you would be Optimus Fine. <laughs> She's lying. She saw this shit on Google. She made if this. I, if I were cross-eyed, I wish I was so I could see you twice. You know how this ain't shit pick up line because you're reading it. This ain't shit pick up line. She write this shit know. off Google. Hold on. Do you believe in love at first sight? Mm, maybe. I don't know. I'm about to walk by again. <laughs> He fell right into that one. <laughs> you done got your ass, boy. Your ass done fell in the trap. Are you you talking all that shit just a minute ago. <laughs> maybe, you, maybe I don't know. Are you French? No. Because I fall for you. What? I fall tower, dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boom. <laughs> Alex done put you out your own house, sis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my name is Microsoft. Can I crash at your place? <laughs> what? This is not her pickup line. She's lying. She saw this shit on Google. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got some more. Hold on. <laughs> Do girls really have pickup lines, though? Right. Girls don't need pickup lines. Bro, I'm about to say, no, 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 I I know. Know. a girl, a girl pickup line is liking two of your pictures from 12 years ago. <laughs> Facts. Facts. And then when she liked right. them from 12 years oh, ago, she went all the way down. No, she went all the way down about, my feed. Yo, she let like, me tell you how. I mean, no, nah, let's get it. I'm glad. It's a, I'm, I'm glad. It's co- Some bitches ain't shit. Yo, wallet. I'm glad it's a guy in here because, like, yo, girls <laughs> are so fucking entitled, bro. A <laughs> girl with like two of your pictures from back in the day. And automatically expects you to DM her, and if you don't, she pissed. Like, yeah, like I know I this like nigga know. This nigga's pictures. I know he knew I like him. Like the fuck, like, like uh, bitch, uh, you gotta tell me. Be like, I was thinking about him. Why the fuck he ain't text me? <laughs> he know I was thinking about him. Text me. <laughs> Bitches be like, he know I miss him. He better come over. <laughs> what I was saying. No, right. what I was saying. Nothing. nothing. You better on. know. Where we at? we talked about. You don't uh, have no. Wait, you don't have no scenario. Yeah, uh, we yo, no, nah, no. Nah. So I, I got something right, and this might be because we never talked about this, but it ain't bad. Ah. All right, so <laughs> if 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 a nigga disrespected you, and I'm there and I don't do nothing, mm. everybody saying uh uh uh, but I mean, you as a black man, you don't protect your black sisters. The fuck is wrong with you? My daddy don't raise these men like because, this. Because I know Jay and I know how the situation no. would actually go. <laughs> so wait, but 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 so I'm, I'm so, actually here. Okay, so I'm actually I'm here what? defending on Shade. Defending Shade. So, Y'all don't even so know. Boom. Okay, so boom, boom. I'm over here dealing with a whole situation as a group of black men across the street. They don't come help me. No, no, I ain't. T- no, fuck that. I ain't. T- I'm talking about specifically. Oh wait, like what relationship? If, yeah, yeah, if it. Oh, re- oh, you mean in a relationship? So yeah. I'm, something happened to me. No, me and you. No, we uh, out. All right. A nigga disrespects you. Okay. And, and I don't chilling. take up for you. The fuck? You got a new place to live? Like we moving out? So we don't go together no more. So is it different when a woman disrespect a man and she don't do nothing? Oh, I'm going ten oh. times harder. Like I'm being. What's up? No, it's no different. I feel like both should. Yeah. Defend, but yeah. also being smart, you but, gotta right, pay attention to the circumstances. Like so, okay, so like right. So what you say? I'm like getting killed. Based. Right. Right. I feel right. like it's scenario based. Because so, right. it, it actually battle. happened one time. One I was about time, to say that. One time it did happen. So one time we was at Jay's workplace, right? So give you a little backstory. One time I. I, no, for real. One time I turned up on this bouncer at one of Jay's events, and Jay zapped on me. He was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Let me handle it, whatever. So ever since then, I was like, I'm not going to say nothing. No, that's because she work. turned on me too. Like, no, no, no. no. I she turned, turned up on me because why. I didn't no, take up for her. Let me tell you what happened, right? Let's not, I'm let's outside. get the whole okay, full I'm about to give the whole fucking story. It. So. <laughs> <laughs> she so, turned up on me. I'm no, never so going to turn up on you, happened. but like, no. Right? We at Jay event, right? Event is going good. It's packed out. It's, he, he hired his bouncers. The bouncers are outside. I went outside to go get one of my friends. The bouncer was saying something that also pertained to me. So I was like, oh, yeah, he was like, I'm not talking to you. And I said, all right, but you don't have to fucking be disrespectful. I only answered because you said it out loud. You didn't wasn't even clear who you were talking to. So we started going back and forth. My friend pulled up. She was like, don't even go back and forth with this nigga. Right. We go through the whole event. He called himself going to try to tell Jay on me. Right, so I came right there. I was like, right, I was, so I came right there. I was like, no, because you fucking lying. You was mad, rude, and disrespectful. Jay in front of the bouncer was like, babe, don't say nothing. I was like, no, fuck this nigga. Like, dude, that's, you're not about to go tell my nigga on me like I did something to you. Like, you wanna, So I got mad at Jay because he didn't even let me tell him the story. I'm like, don't listen to this Because I don't nigga. need to listen, know the right? story for my girl because I'm going to take your side regardless. But he was, no, because he was talking to the bouncer. He was like, all right, I was like, no, yeah, I'm no, like, no, okay, no, right? cool. Because he was wild. But I'm never going to hide a nigga again. Like, hold on. 
point so, blank period. All right, that's fine. You but don't see, why me? Like, nah, because, but I'm, because you ain't he even. Because no, it's it because. No but right in the middle of the thing, you was like, hold on. To Harris, I know, fuck him. I'm talking because you was mad rude, right? So, boom. Ever since then, boom, Jay had a sense. You turned him up, whatever. I was like, I'm not going to say it when it comes to his workplace. Now, if we all anywhere else, I'm going to fuck. A bitch can't say nothing stupid, right? So, fast forward months later, right? Even a year later, right? We at his place of work. We go inside. The workplace has now got new management, something. So, Jay normally just walks in, no hassle. Like, I work here. Like, whatever. The bitch is wilding, wilding she was right? Wilding. She, like, turning up on Jay, like, whatever. But the owner was also standing right there in who he works for, right? So I'm standing here staring at the bitch because I'm like, yo, one more word, I'm about to go. Man, cheat him, cheat him, holding my hand like this because I'm like, yo, this bitch wilding like, but the owner and his boss is both right there. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna let them hand it for a second. Like, whatever. So it got handled, we walk in. But I was still pissed because I was just like, damn, I want to say something, but it's also his place of work that's the owner. And I don't want to... Fuck around and now we scribing out it like Jay, you don't work here no more because your bitch yeah. was wild and like whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, because of the previous situation now, anytime outside of like, but because the owner was right there and his boss was right there, it was a different dynamic for me because I was like, if I would have chimed in, I ain't know where I didn't really know where to fall in line because I'm like, right. I want to turn up. I was like, but I don't want his owners to take it out on him. I don't want his boss to take it out on him, or I don't want this situation to flip and now. Now he mad at me because now I can't work there. Because he also told me a story about his previous situation when that happened. And his girl was mad because that was his workplace, the workplace. Like, yeah. And I was just like, I don't want to. So, like, Let me see what how this plays out for us. So I asked like, that question because I know on the surface, right? Asking that question, I knew everybody was going to be like, nah, da, 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 da. Yeah. But Scenario what I will say, matter. what I will say is I face. actually was like happy. Like, so I was torn. Like, I'm, I guess it's a Gemini thing. Like, I'm always two different feelings, mm -hmm. right? So like at, like my initial reaction was like damn like you know what I'm saying but and again the mature me she the, was wilding it. yeah like, like the mature she like that she called me bitches and all that I'm like like, I, like, like you know what I'm saying so I'm like no Cheetah was holding my hand because his cousin was holding my hand because I was like yeah yo, like like bro. like she like for no reason I'm though I'm just staring at so, like, her face like, like yo and I'm I was about to like I was being I was being respectful right so like so no 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 fact no but that's what I'm but that's what that's what that's what I'm getting that's what I'm getting at that's what I'm getting at so the initial me was like. Damn, like she wildin', your girl ain't even say nothing. But then like the mature me was like, damn, that's dope. Like, like, no, cause you don't understand because like shit like that does make or break. And even from from that situation, I left on my own. You know what I'm saying? And it was it wasn't it had nothing to do with Sade. It was just like He was like, I'm good on that, cause y'all let people wild me on that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all the owner. And y'all should have stepped up for me. Right. But so, I didn't want, if, it, if I said something, it would have been a force out. Yeah. Because it would have been like, ah, right. right. now we going, and now I'm fighting the bitch. Right. I was like, you know, Jay. Right. Right. Yep. right. And I've been right. through too many right. of those situations. So, like, for me, at, like, the initial reaction was, like, felt the way. But then, like, the main feeling was, like, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? And I even, but even outside of work, because it's like, <clears throat> like you said, you never know what somebody got, right? So, I even I'll be out and the bitch disrespect me or whatever. And if my girl, the one is like, yo, you know what? We out. I feel like I would appreciate that more because I've been through the other side. Like, like yeah. you don't have to like, we know what we can do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and I ask that because it's like, I'm just thinking like if a nigga, it's, it's, so it might, it might be easier said than yeah. done. Cause to me, I would want is. to be like, if a nigga just like my girl, I, I'm going like, to want to be like, you know, let's dip. I don't right. know if I, I hopefully I can, like, like you said, it's but like, how do you look at me at that? Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's scenario. <laughs> like, for example, like, like I said, like certain things you can diffuse situations, but sometimes it can't it's one of those things like it, it's somebody they taking it too far like even like yesterday like when the girl came and said i felt like it could be diffused because i was looking at her posture she had her son out there she, i was like she don't want no smoke for real i'm gonna go diffuse the situation right but there's times that people won't have their son and people keep turning up like okay we're gonna have to bust this bitch ass right quick excuse me <laughs> because bitch got me fucked up snatch yeah. wigs off but it's, i feel like it's I, time. I, I, I think at all moments you can walk away i think maybe so, maybe so, not not at all moments. because no sometimes because here's the thing I'm pro love, but I'm also pro you got me fucked up. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because, like, like you know what I'm saying? You got me fucked up because what you're not going to do is be repeatedly disrespectful because mm -hmm. what I do respect is always start with love. Like, yo, bro, it ain't even that. Yo, sis, it ain't even that. Right, 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 now, right. if yeah. I go that route and you still want a wild situation, okay, you know what? I ain't. Let's now. <laughs> Come on now. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then in like, most bro. cases, like, when you're a good-hearted person, it really takes somebody to take shit Yeah, to that like, it's not the right. Like, you, like, for me, you ain't right. never doing nothing for no reason. Off, 
It's, it's for, for a reason. reason. Nah, but because like it's no, been times, shit. it's been times where real I literally, shit. I literally like cried because I walked away. Yeah. Like that shit, being a bigger it's, people it's think it's sweet. Of. Like that shit hurt. Yeah. Especially when you got like a history. Like it's been times where I walked Especially away. I put these poor and I cr- like I literally no, cried the because it's like y'all wanted to no, whip I this nigga ass. Too, Jay. Bro, like, that's because we first of all, I seen all the Jay full of shit because I see Jay whoop. Hold on, I seen Jay whoop niggas ass and still cry. Like I ain't want to do that. Yeah, I was. But that's like, what I was saying. Like, he definitely, you from Baltimore? Jay too, don't really. like. He don't like so doing it. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. No, you. But good. I feel like one thing I have realized being from the city and from that specific city, it's like it's just I'm not hood, but I'm hood. That's right. the normal. Man, it's like, the norm. Like, like, like it's normal. Like, like, yeah. yeah. So it's like it's hard. It's like for me, like in high school, my yeah. mindset of I don't give a fuck and ready right. to pounce on bitches was right. so much more quicker than what I would do. Right. But same. Know? And I also but it's feel like, like I feel Jay because right. I would be frustrated if I and also as you get older, like like for example, like certain things like. I'm really good at gauging situations now. When I was younger, I used to pop the fuck off. All my friends would tell you I was a loose cannon. But as I got older, it was one of those things where it was just like, some things like, like you said, if I know like, I ain't about, like, bitch, you don't want this problem just like I don't want this. Nah, f- and that not facts, because sometimes you don't want it. Like, you don't it ain't need, that you're scared, it's just like, I don't want that. I'm like, I don't I'm need, good. this is a waste of my time. Yeah. Like, even arguing with certain places, like, I hate when my friends, like, what I hate that girls do sometimes, like, girls like to argue with niggas. Like, I got to an age, yeah. like, when I was younger, when I was on younger, you out, are you out, fight a nigga. But like when as I got older, I realized niggas like no, bro. It's not, you every nigga not the same. That. It's, it's not, not worth it. Same. To meet a nigga that's it. not a real yeah. nigga ain't worth yeah, going like, through that. Because if you meet not. a nigga that's not a real nigga, you gonna punch you in your right, face. Right, exactly. It, it is. It's not. It's not it's worth not it. The right. same. And like my friends will get, they won't argue with my fucking nigga. I'm like, yo, we're not doing that. We gotta go. We gotta go because like it's not worth the situation. Well, and I'm really appreciative. They shoot you too. Yeah, yeah, like I said, they like, were shooting girls. It's been times, they stabbing like, girls. They punching girls in their face. Like I'm that. not. When I was younger, that. like when like, I was no. when I was a little bit younger, like I remember my college days. Like I remember a girl, um, like arguing with me or something. And like the first chance I got, the the, the next dude I saw that like came to her defense, I punched him in his face because like I couldn't do shit to her. So it's like I, like I remember I remember the nigga trying to like I don't know if he was trying to protect her, but something it's just. But like she really was disrespecting the fuck out of me, and it was like, nah, fuck this nigga, cause like you think it's sweet, I can't do nothing to you. But anyway, that's not we don't promote that shit. What I'm saying is, all I'm, all I'm saying is like now getting older and especially going through that, it ain't like I didn't fight. Being in a lot of fights, sometimes I feel like if somebody is disrespectful, the best thing is to walk away. And like, I'm gonna be you got so much you, more to lose. I'm gonna be honest with you, these wigs is expensive. I'm not doing it. My nail, look, I spent a lot of money on my nails, my lashes. My fuck, I'm not fight, like you bitches is dumb. Like I'm five eight and a fucking stallion. I look, I ain't about to do this with you. You like we not. About so, to but do you that. see, I never to change because my first asked the question. Yeah, cause it's it's go time no, now. We no, all like, like, yeah, no, we gotta like, walk no, let away. Let me say this though. You see how like niggas be playing with me. This is why we have conversations. Right, it's scenario based, but I will tell you this: like, no bitch is about to like. That was one of out of that was one of those one out of. But I hope you nothing. would do that again though. No, yeah, I might. But if a, I, I, I'm sorry, a bitch come up to you calling you a bitch and we ain't in your workplace, she think I'm sweet. <laughs> she think I'm sweet. <laughs> like first of all, you thought she was gonna come over here. I'm sorry, I ain't going for that. Like I, I don't want to get that stupid. So like I know y'all be watching the podcast. Let's not get. I'm just saying like I don't know like but nigga <laughs> like, like I, I, that's why I say it's easier said than done. But what I will hope I could do is walk. Like if a nigga just my mark, I will hope and pray that I can. We walk always away. gonna start with love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But once I give you love and you choose the other direction, I gave you an option. Yeah. I gave you a fucking option. Yeah. We could go the love way. You don't want to go that way? Okay. I'll, we can dance then. Like, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm sorry. Episode 20 great was very great. What, yes, what, 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 I like that. 120, we good, we good. Oh, perfect. Um, I think we, what, did, did we miss anything? Alex, Before you put July 7th? Topic. Oh, yeah. So I just wanted to add that, that uh, July 7th is supposed to be a blackout day for all black people. We're not supposed to spend any money on that day. Uh, to stop the Let's economy so people can understand the importance Let's of the black it. dollar so we yep. can really see the value and we're not celebrating for the july this year i was about to say that yeah, yeah. we're not celebrating the for the july, july this year and we that's celebrate what celebrate juneteenth. juneteenth that is what we're juneteenth. doing that's uh, what we're doing for those can who don't know is continuing can, uh, I, right? can i ask y'all something real quick what's up so <clears throat> and again i'll be talking different languages to myself so on instagram somebody was like yo we are so for all that's going on are we really going to celebrate juneteenth this year and the girl was like, "What's Juneteenth?" And me, give him grace. I, yeah, no, nah, I'm yeah, like, "Yo, that's great." What I, what I said was, "I'm like, yo, it's crazy because 
that shows you how terrible our school yeah. system was. Right. Yeah. They didn't you know what I'm saying? Like, because us. it's times like it's shit that we don't know. Like, right. It and goes we back should to know. The, the I said in the beginning. And out yeah. The reason why they can't relate to us is because we know their yeah. history. They don't know anything yep. about yep. us. Right. And, and and like I feel bad for like I said like y'all got. So can we do a quick breakdown? Can you go on the internet and go ahead, babe? My bad. Just Google it. And what I, like what I what I've been trying to say as well is that the thing is this newer generation, a lot of their parents are young. So like if they didn't get a lot of knowledge, you gotta remember like you know what I'm saying just to be real, my mom's Jamaican, but I ain't get no African American history. That's yeah. something that I had to seek for as I got older. I had to learn that, I had to study that, I had to go look into my background, but I didn't know. So a lot of people, if you don't know, don't feel bad for it. But you do have to educate the younger people because they won't know because their parents didn't know. Yo, Jewel. Yeah, it's. African diaspora. I feel like that was yeah. new, relatively new. That was new, and I was about to yeah, say, that. I, I just like that say, was relative. Honestly, college. I didn't learn real Black history until I got to Morgan State. Yeah, yeah African yeah. diaspora. Yeah. Like, I thought that was like yeah. relatively new. So yeah. it's like, so it's, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. crazy. It's like we have to unlearn so, so much. many things. Like because that's that class you get everybody teaches race. you that everything you learned is basically uh, so a lie. So for me, I got fortunate because I ended up coming along alongside friends that were very pro-Black. That also uh, also holistic healers who was all about their black culture. So I started picking up on these things as I got older to go back and look into my ancient Greek, not excuse me, ancient African American history, my goddessry of all these things. But a lot of people don't get that. Like a lot of people don't have those type of friends. Not to say I wish they did, but you know, some a lot of people like we are what we are. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But it is time to unlearn and learn. Let's, let's get into this just a little bit yet. Yeah, right, just a little bit. All right, Juneteenth, history of Juneteenth. Juneteenth is the oldest nationally celebrated commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States, dating back to 1865. It was on June 19th that the Union soldiers, led by Major General Gordon Granger, landed at Galveston, Texas, with news that the war had ended and the enslaved were now free. Note that this was two and a half years after President Lincoln Emancipation Proclamation, which had become officially January 1st, 1863. The Emancipation Proclamation had little impact on the Texans due to the minimal number of Union troops to enforce the new executive order. However, with the surrender of General Lee in April of 1865 and the arrival of General Granger's regiment, the forces were finally strong enough to influence and overcome the resistance. So it's crazy. Reading that, right? Yo, first of all, I want to say shout out to Shannon Sharp. Yo, if y'all, when y'all get a chance, just uh, Shannon Sharp, he's on um, Shannon and... uh, He's on with him and Skip Bayless. Him, him and Skip Bayless, yo. Undisputed. He did, show. undisputed. He did a great job of breaking everything down, bro. He, he, like, y'all got to watch it. Without, yo, the nigga, I, I was asking myself how much did he study this shit? Because he was violent, but anyway... We were for, like even reading the definition because I didn't even know that much. We were literally kind of forced to be free because we didn't have the manpower. So it's like we we they were they 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 made us free so we could help just for us not to get the same benefits that the white people get to this day. You get what I'm saying? It's crazy. Like we were freed because the needed the need for us to fight. Come on, but. Yeah, we can end it right there. But, I mean, well, go ahead. What you and saying? And just to add that last part, and we won, nigga. Right. We, we won. won because of who? Us. That showed we that they won, needed us nigga. that much. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Man. Yeah. And that's how you know we the chosen ones, y'all. I'm just saying. Yeah. Facts. Yo. Yeah. Episode 28. Great episode. One, Definitely a One great of the better episode. episodes. Um. Gemini Scorpio podcast. Hey, make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make yeah, sure you hit you the know, notification. Also, MrJHill.com if yeah. you want exclusives on the Gemini Scorpio podcast, all content, all creative God like things. Shout out to the baby for an awesome website. It's bomb. Also, you can go view the Gemini Scorpio podcast at MrJHill.com. Mm -hmm. You already know. You already know. Right, um, episode 28. Shout out to the gang. 20, great. Yes, sir. Alexander yes, Zon. Sir. Alex, Alex. Alex and the Blanc. The Blanc. Uh, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Blanc. Alexander the Blanc. Blanc. Jewel and Bitches JC. Yep, yep. My girl Monique Pink Celebrity. Let's get it. My guy Wyman J Productions. Healer Bay. You already know. You already know. Follow me at Mr. JL. I mean, it's a wrap. We out. We out.